Now we want to delete the product from the database, but before we creating this function, I just want to see the details of these products. So I forgot to check if the date time is working. As you can see, we have a create time and when the product has been created and the time also when the product has been updated. And for the Dreamcast is the same. This is important thing that it's uh, working. Everything is working fine. And also, for example, if I want to, if I would like to update this uh, product uh, again, I will just try. I will not update it. I will just try. Okay, uh, empty price, validation is working and I will just try to enter some uh, letters, it will not work, that is all I wanted to check. We will not update it, now what we want to do, we want to delete a product. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code, Let's first let's close all, I will open. Let's open the product list, HTML, and let's create click event here. Click event will be just a delete product. And product ID as parameter temp product dot product ID. Of course, we don't have uh, this function in product list.ts. First, let's create it in the product service. Let's create a synchronous function delete product, product ID as parameter. Parameter will be any. And we will just return a wait axios dot uh, delete and let's use target URL and delete product slash product ID which is parameter. That's great, we have created it successfully in the product service. Now let's create a delete product in product list.ts. Here in the end, let's create delete product. But it will have product ID as parameter, we forgot it. And if, if confirm, we'll just type uh, remove this product. Now let's call this dot product service delete product, but this is a promise. Let's create then, let's resolve the promise. It will be a function product service and we forgot the parameter product ID. And first uh, we will call we will call this dot list all products first. And then we will go to this list this dot redirect we don't have this but we will call product service this 
product service redirect all products i think that will be good in the case everything is okay and let's create one catch event it will be just one uh, alert and we'll just type failed and let's see how it will gonna work still i still have i still have i don't have actually error the error is gone now what we need to do we just need to see if this will gonna work uh, let's see the products in the database and who is the first candidate for deleting let's delete sony let's see how it will gonna work remove this product i will click ok and uh, the sony has been disappeared and let's see in the database yes it has been deleted successfully which is uh, perfect who is the next candidate we have two mobiles i will delete uh, this uh, nokia with uh, with the image remove this product and it uh, works it's great now uh, what product we have we have one mobile and two game console now i will go to the categories and i want to remove mobile to see if everything of uh, everything will gonna work fine and also this mobile product should be also deleted let's see how it will gonna work it has been deleted and let's see in the products the mobile we should have only game consoles now everything is working fine almost everything uh, I didn't test this search button but I think that it works normally yes it works let's see what we need to do now everything is working uh, with products these events are working Detail, details update and delete works fine and in the categories we just need to everything is also working uh, add category update category delete and we and we only need to go to these products for desired category but we will add some more products maybe some other categories <laughs> why i don't need this special washing machine uh, i would just delete it okay we have laptop game console uh maybe we will add some more products uh, and uh, some more uh categories in the next tutorial and we will just test uh, for example to see this uh, product uh, with desired category that will be i maybe that will be that will be the last thing that we need to do and we will also again try try to test the uh, entire application and that will be all we are almost done See you in the next tutorial.